All right, everybody, this should be a quick video, hopefully. Uh, this is on a 2014 Kia Soul. Um, the issue with this one is, is that it is a no start. So I'll just give you guys a view of that. Or a start stall if you want. All right. Um, so the first thing that I notice when I get into this vehicle is that we have a remote starter onto the system. The second thing I noticed when I got into this vehicle is if we look on the dash, we have no immobilizer light anywhere onto the dash that is lighting up, indicating that the vehicle is seeing the physical key. All right. So what we're going to do right now is go underneath, locate where the immobilizer wires are, uh, reconnect them. And then from there, the vehicle should start. So just give me one moment and I'll locate those for us. All right, so uh, I located where the box is for the immobilizer system. So what we're going to do is, well, I'm, what I'm going to do is just show you guys what is going on here. Um, I unplugged it from the module, okay? Now, if all works well, okay, this is what we have. We have this black and this red wire, white black and white red wire right here. All I'm going to do is find something to take and um, pretty much just short them together because I believe that, that on this system they take and they cut the immobilizer wire and they splice this system into it so we're just going to take connect them and retry the system so give me one moment all right so i'll give you guys a quick view of what i did okay i just took off the connector put those two wires back together and now this is the moment of truth there's so much glare it's ridiculous sorry about that oh and there is our immobilizer light and the vehicle now starts. So, uh, what did we learn from this video? Um, check for your immobilizer light. Always check and make sure that there's not an aftermarket remote starter onto the vehicle. If there is, remove or find the immobilizer wires that are that correspond to that remote starter system. Cut them, splice them back together, and you guys should be good to go. So I just wanted to reiterate, always make sure that you do a proper diagnosis onto a vehicle. Um, I got to the point where I was in this video very quickly, only based on my experience uh, with dealing with uh, remote starter systems. And 99% of the time when I'm dealing with a, a vehicle that's not starting and there's a remote starter system onto it, it's always going to end up being the remote starter system. Um, but always take into a proper diagnosis because you never know that 1%, you might actually not, uh, it might not actually be the, the remote starter system and it might actually be something else. Hope you guys enjoyed this quick video, and as always, I'll see you guys next time.